good morning. Um, so after President Nelson's message yesterday, I want to start every video for the next seven days with um, some gratitude. Um, so this morning, I am grateful for this home. I'm grateful for this family that I am allowed to be a part of. For the wonderful little boys that I get to see every day. Yes, sometimes they get on my nerves, but being here in Utah is like changed my life. If that. Mm. Being in Washington, I didn't realize how sad I was. You know, how lonely. I thought I had it all, my own home, great career at the gallery. But once I came here and I was with a family, I realized how lonely I was and how my job was everything to me. And that's not the way it should be. So this morning, I am thankful for this home and this family. Um, and then today is Ether Chapter 10. And it is a fast little chapter. Um, I'm just going to read you the overview that they give in the supplemental because Moroni traces the linear succession of rulers during the middle and into the later period of Jaredite history. Some of the kings are wicked. <coughs> oh, excuse me. While others rule in righteousness during periods of righteousness, the people flourish with the blessings of the Lord. I'm so sorry. Um, and then, really, it's all just recap, recap, recap. There's nothing um, in here, really. It's all just summing it up. It sums up verses 1 through 18. Then it sums up 18... 19 through 28, then 29 through 31, 32 through 34, and it doesn't give anything except for, like, recap. And, um, it is also scant in the Ludlow. Um, but it does say, it is possible that approximately one-third of the time period of the Jaredite civilization is covered in the brief account in Chapter 10. Although the record is scanty, the few details presented indicate these people had a high, high state of civilization. And then it just says that Moroni said they were exceedingly industrious. They did work all manner of ore. They had silks and fine twine linen, did make all manner of tools, did make all manner of weapons of war. And then he says, interestingly enough, recent archaeological discoveries also indicate that a populous people with a high state of civilization once lived on the American continents during the exact period indicated in the Book of Mormon. So that's really all the extra information that's given here about chapter 10. Um, it's just one king after another. You know, the it just does this. You know, the kingdom flip-flops. It goes from... It's... It's, it's a sad state. And um, even though it's moving fairly fast, um, if, you, if you take the time to see what is actually happening here with the intrigues and the, and the secret combinations, you realize that, you know, history is repeating itself. It repeats itself with the Nephites. It repeats itself, you know, in our day. And um, all we can do is take and learn lessons from the Book of Mormon and apply them into our lives and make sure that we don't repeat history. So, that's all I got, really. That's chapter 10. And we'll see you tomorrow.